you're, you're gone. Uh, I was dead to the world. <laughs> and then, so so what happened? So you, that's the important part of the story you told me earlier. Yeah, so then... Then then what happened? So then, you know, I was watching myself. So you're kind of floating around the room. Yes, yes. So you, you're you kind of... You, you, your, your spirit left you. Yes. Your, your body's down there. Right. So you're flying around the room. Right. Right. And I'm seeing everything they're doing to me. So they're trying to re revive you. Yes. With the paddle and everything, you see it. Yes, the paddle and stuff, the hose down my throat. Yeah, all of that. And all of that. And, and like, like the movies. Like the movies. Yes. Okay. We have John here. Hi, John. Okay, so, oh, you got some things between the toes. Yeah, so I need to clean that up as well, okay? Because we, you have a little maceration, we call it. It's very uh, wet between the toes, okay? So we have to make sure we keep that area dry as well. We don't want any infection, right? You can talk to me, John. You yes. look like a social guy. <laughs> right? Yes. So, John was telling me earlier that he had a triple heart bypass surgery, right? Yes. And then tell me a little, little story, your out-of-body experience story you just yeah, told me. Like, like Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> yeah, so t t t t t t tell me what happened. So, you you were trying to have a surgery, right? Yes. and uh, Your back surgery. A back surgery, and they will me in there. This is it. Mr. Gray, we're going to turn you over, and your head's going to be here, and... And I might get a little bruise on your forehead because of the weight of your head. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. So then they, she put me right there with an the anesthesiologist was and put the IV in me and mm -hmm. when they put the mask, mm -hmm. I guess I went another way. My heart stopped. Your heart stopped? Yes. Okay. And, uh, and then that's when they coded and uh, the surgeons ran out, the neurologist. We ran out and the sisters ran out. They're all scared. Oh, they all ran out? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? They didn't stay with you? No, no. They, they ran didn't. away? They ran away. <laughs> and my wife was sitting next door because they had the waiting room. She saw him cold blue. She goes, oh, man, she hope that's not John. And yeah, the surgeon comes out and his assistant. Mm -hmm. says, your husband just went to cold blue. Well, she goes, yeah. Cold blue, which means you're, you stop breathing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Means, so the whole hospital knows. That's what yeah. they. That's what they do. They say code blue, code blue, which means someone's not breathing. Yeah. Okay. So so what happened? So, so your the, your surgeons ran away. Okay. Yeah. And the, then the, oh, the cardiologist came running in. Oh, the cardiologist now. Okay. Yeah, so Where was he? Was he? Was well, he they, nearby? Yeah, they stood nearby. And this Dr. Han, and he uh, came in and then they tried. To undo the medicine, I guess they put IV in there. Uh huh. That and, uh, but you're still not breathing. Yeah, I still wasn't breathing. No. Okay, so what what happened and after then, that? And then they tried to uh, jump started me with the with the paddles. With the paddles, right? Yeah. It's okay. Like the hose down my throat. Uh huh. But but you're not awake. No, no. I you're was dead. you're like you're out. I was dead. <laughs> you're, you're gone. Uh, I was dead to the world. <laughs> and then so so what happened? So you that's the important part of the story you told me earlier. Yeah, so then 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 what happened? So then you know I was watching myself. So you're kind of floating around the room. Yes, yes. So you you kind of you you your your spirit left you. Yes. Your your body's down there. Right. So you're flying around the room. Right. Right. And I'm seeing everything they're doing to me. So they're trying to re revive you. Yes. With the paddle and everything, you see it. Yes, the paddle and stuff, the hose down my throat. All of that, all of that, and, and like, like the movies, like the movies. Yes, but you're not, you're not with your body. No, no. you're, you're separate. You're flying around. Were you, were you flying yeah, fast or, or kind of slowly, like cruising? Floating around, waiting to see if I'm gonna go back into the body or take off. <laughs> really, were you thinking of something or just nothing right now at this time? No, just, uh, just watching and uh -huh. see which way I was gonna go. How, so, how long were you floating around? You think? I think it must have been enough few minutes I guess. No, oh, so it wasn't long. No, no, it wasn't that long. And then and then apparently apparently they jump started me and I guess And then you you, you came back, back. I went back in. Yeah. You went back in. Did That's you a, did you see yourself going into the body? Uh no. No, you just no, didn't. It was just like but you know, when I woke up mm -hmm. the first thing I asked, Well how did the surgery go? 
Uh-huh. And says, what surgery? You didn't have no surgery. You <laughs> didn't have the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? She said, no, you died. And said, what? Yeah. So they said, they said you died. Yeah. And then you, you thought of you floating around like afterward. Yes. Because you couldn't think at and that time. And everybody asked me, what did you see? Who did all the nurses? Or what did you see? Him? Right, right. Everybody's yeah, asking the same thing, right? Everybody was all curious. And, mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, no, I went through that. Wow. And then I was fine. Then they, you know, they did all the EKG. They did a... Uh, Angiogram, what they call an angiogram. Mm-hmm. They did that. And at that time, they noticed that you had a blockage of your heart. Yeah. That's why you stopped right. pumping blood. Yes. That's why you went out. But you, you didn't even know that, huh? No, no. Yeah. I guess it probably cut it on a, on a low mode, and that's when it stopped, I guess. Or... Wow. But that's but, amazing. But then I, I went to had the major heart surgery, but they had to crack my chest open. Yeah, yeah. And did a triple bypass there. Yeah. So what 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 did you what did you like? How did you feel about your out of body experience? What what made you what what made you think afterward? What what do you think of that particular well, incident? You know, not not that much. I just mm-hmm. you know, once in a while I'll be sleeping like and I can dream about it. Oh, is that right? Yeah. As you're floating around. Yeah. Really. Yeah, like it comes back. Wow. And, and, uh, but you know, nothing, you can't touch nothing. You're just like flying around with, you know, like if you wanted to touch something, you can't. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's amazing, huh? Yes. So we were, our, our, our body could be separated from our spirit, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could be like floating around and completely. But, but the, the church says, I think after three hours or five, six hours, uh-huh. Then, then your your soul leaves your body. Oh really? Yeah. How long? About was it about five six hours? After oh, is that right? Yeah. Then you're not coming back. Then you're not coming back. That's <laughs> it. That's it. You That's either, it, huh? That's, yeah. It's, you either go to the to the gates of heaven up there. Wow. Yeah, but I, I I read a lot of stuff about people who left for a long time. Uh huh. Remember they're in coma, right? Right. They're in coma right. for like uh, yeah, days yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I wonder what happens then. I don't know where they, but you know what they're 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 breathing. Yeah, right? it's just their minds now. Right, right, right. They're, yeah, yeah, they're not necessarily dead. Right, but the mind left, and then yeah, a lot of them actually come back, and they're it it changed their life, all the perspective well, yeah. of. Because I'm very interested in some of those things yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. Death. So, when I see an article like that, I want to kind of read it, you know. And then a lot of people, whatever happened during that time, really changed their lives. Yeah, no, it's just, uh, you know, I wasn't gone that long to change my life. But, right. You know, you appreciate more things. Right. You know, you're you're gone and came back. Yeah. Yeah. You resurrected. Yes. <laughs> you weren't gone too long, but no, it says you only die once. <laughs> right. Yeah. But now you can say I I died before. <laughs> I'm a dead man walking. Yeah, you're no, you're you're alive. You're yeah. back. <laughs> you were dead for a little bit, and yeah. then you had the out of body experience. Yes. At least you can say that, and not many people experience that, right? No, no. Thank God you're back. <laughs> so that that was a very interesting conversation. I thought so. I figured I'll share that, uh, you know, with people. Yeah. So very good. So you're still waiting for the back surgery then? If, yes. Would you yes. would you would you do it cuz it's bothering you a lot still? Right? Yeah, I can't walk. Yeah. I need to, to have that done. Mhm. So then I got bounced around with all these doctors because mm-hmm. the doctor that was going to do it he was at uh, at one hospital and then he switched over to another hospital and the insurance didn't cover that hospital. Oh, is that right? Oh. Yeah, so then I had to get another doctor, and I was lined up to go him, and then he switched uh, uh, offices, mm-hmm. and, and uh, so that canceled that one out. Oh, okay, wow. And, and, I had to go to several of them. And then oh, finally, is that right? Oh, wow. Finally, I found this Dr. Lee in L.A. in Hollywood, uh-huh. and I went over there, and he says, oh, no, he says, you don't need back, back surgery. He says, uh, Do some injections. Injections. Uh-huh. But then uh, I says, okay, so 
I'm lined up for injections in two weeks. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, you should try that first before yeah. surgery. And then uh, my cardiologist told me, no, I says, you need to have back surgery because that's where your damaged nerves is. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to have that fixed because he goes, the shots are temporary. Mm -hmm. He says, but... Uh, yeah, it temporary, but sometimes it uh, makes them better. Does so they don't need surgery. Yeah, I I hear it all the time. So, so definitely shots are worth doing, trying. Yeah, because surgery, is surgery, you know, surgery. So I go to this doctor Matt Tyler. He's up here on the third floor. Uh huh. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, the, the pain management doctor. Uh huh. And he's up here on the third floor. Oh, okay. And that's yeah. where they do the surgery. The I see. Wow. Yeah, hopefully they'll be able to fix it, you'll be able to walk. Yeah, no, that's the main thing. Yeah, because you have a lot of swelling on your legs right now because right. you cannot be too active at this right. time. Right, Yeah, that'll, that will be your next project, but since your heart's clean now, right? Yes. Really so right. you could probably, you can even have back surgery if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was good for that. Yeah, oh, I see. Yeah, they gave me KG and all that stuff. And uh -huh. And it's messed with all the giant colors. But yeah, yeah. So you should know, it's fine. Yeah, I highly recommend fix your back so that you can be active again. Yeah. Because your legs swelling up like that is not good for you. You see, another thing is, uh, you know, I work at home. Uh huh. I'm a, uh, I'm an estimator. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so I was an architect before. Oh, you were an architect? Yeah, okay. So what happens is that I sit in my desk, on yeah. my drafting table a long time, uh -huh. and I can hang it. Oh, I see. They don't get the circulation that yeah. it's supposed to have. Yeah. You do a lot of drawing and sitting around and yes. doing a lot of that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you have to be careful with your back. Yeah. Because you're, you you got that kind of job, you know? Yeah. A lot of sitting around job. Yeah, and it's, you know, it affects my circulation on my feet. Yeah. Because it's, they're just hanging there. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not up there. Because when I was running college, I started getting glasses on my legs and stuff. Uh -huh. So I went to the doctor. He was, you got bad circulation. So he asked me what I did. So I told him, it was all my says, you better start running or something. So I rolled in some basketball classes. Oh, they're right. Was, yeah. <laughs> Stay active. For, yeah, for PE. And, mm -hmm. and that, you know, it helped because it did. And then, you know, I was a general contractor and I was always on my feet running back and forth. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you got to get back on your activity because now you got the heart surgery, you know. Yeah. Now you got the and, back and problem, I, all of that. You need to. And I've been, cool. you know, I was always active. And yeah, yeah. Working with being a general contractor. And, oh, really? Oh, you drew a general contractor yeah. too? Yeah, and then doing sports. I was playing a lot of racquetball. And oh, really? You did all that, huh? and, Oh, okay, well, time to get back to that, huh? Yeah, well, everything's think, sitting there. Yeah, I think <laughs> you will. Collecting dust. Yeah, yeah, well, I think I think we will, okay? All right. Let's get on that. So but thanks fine. for allowing me to, us to film you today.